Hello everybody. Um, China's Chang'e R6 just left the uh, Earth's orbit yesterday. So it's on the way to a uh, moon. It takes a couple days to arrive there. And it's going to land this time uh, in the South Pole. And you have a moon. Chang'e R5 landed the further side. This is Earth, the further side of the moon, and retrieved the sample and it came back. This time it's going to land here. So after studying the front side, back side, and the most interesting area will be the South Pole. And the South Pole, um, when Chang'e 5 landed, uh, China put the relay satellite on the L2 point, L2 point, uh, halo orbit, like this. Okay, so this lander and this satellite communicate, uh, this lander communicate with Earth through this relay satellite on the halo orbit. This halo orbit was placed on the um, L2 point. Now, for this uh, Chang'e 6 is in the South Pole. And South Pole is situation a little bit different. So what China did is they put ellipsic, elliptic orbit satellite. So this satellite is always look at the both. You can see the both South Pole and Earth. So this is really a satellite that can communicate. Only when it go to the other side of the moon, it's disconnected. So the Earth cannot get the uh, uh, real time status from the sun lander. But because this is a very big uh, ellipsic, elliptic orbit, actually, so the time it go around moon quickly is very small. Most of the time, it stay on this side. So most of the time, it can communicate. It can see both uh, lander on the south pole and Earth. So as a relay satellite, I think 90% of the time it does the work and only 10% is to go quickly around the moon and then come back to this side. Okay. So relay satellite, this is for Chen uh, and this is for Chen Er 6. So, depending on location on the moon, China placed a different relay satellite. This relay satellite was launched uh, about a week ago and it's circling and waiting for the Chen Er uh, 6. Chen Er 6 is on the way right now, it's probably around here, and pretty soon it's go to the moon's orbit and get into the orbit probably go to the uh, uh, halo orbit in order to land on this south pole exactly where the uh, China is most interested in place and as I said China already has the uh, couple satellite going around the moon uh, for the navigation system and has at least three satellites going around the Earth which act as a navigation system. So this satellite is to triang uh, triangulate uh, this uh, spaceship to determine speed and location exactly where it is. When it's come to the moon, use the moon's uh, navigation satellite to determine location. So 
it's very accurate engineering and actually it's a brilliant idea uh, to have this kind of ellipsis uh, orbit for relay satellite this was this shocked me this this is whoever come up with this idea was excellent and now they have another innovative idea to have this relay satellite so when you landed here on the South Pole probably you cannot communicate with Earth directly because of the ground effect you have to go out to the satellite and relay that to the Earth and this will do the perfect job because the service time is very long only short time it's go around uh, moon at service time and also the uh, this uh, L2 point relay satellite cannot service this South Pole very well because when it's, it's here it cannot reach South Pole so this is the second relay satellite relay 1 this is relay 2 okay so the collecting the sample and coming back to the earth we already talked about the uh, previous video how to come back to earth it's not trivial it's it's pretty difficult but china already has experience in china chin 5 and chin 6 um, you have to accumulate those technology accumulate technology before you send a man to the moon so otherwise it won't work so that's what uh, China doing from now to 20, uh, 29 China keep shooting the satellite uh, spaceship and size is bigger and land it and come back they repeat and after accumulation of technology with pretty good confidence they will send men to the moon okay the you cannot do in one shot there are a lot of things you have to verify the technology and that's what uh, China doing and this sample on the South Pole may contain helium-3 and, and water and other interesting material and this lambda has four uh, equipment developed by uh, other nations this one is uh, one in France and the one is Italy and the one is Sweden and the one is uh, Pakistan the four different instruments are mounted on this lambda to do uh, various things the China is increasing international uh, cooperation on the development and the rumor said that China is negotiating with Russia to make a moon base uh, together uh, after 2030 they start constructing a moon base so progress is uh, on and it's very fun to watch see what China will do next okay so that's all for today the quick news on Cheng R6 the second time second uh, trip to retrieve the sample from the moon surface and it's on the way it's around here right now and very soon it's going to uh, reach moon okay Thank you for listening. If you like, uh, please subscribe and wait for the next video.